All right, what's up you guys and welcome back to another off-road outlaws video now as you guys can tell by the title We're gonna be building Braden Price's new Honda Rubicon man. That thing is a beautiful let me tell you so of course, you know I thought what if we made that in off-road outlaws, so that's the plan today We're gonna try to build Braden Price's new Honda Rubicon in off-road outlaws and let me tell you, if you're watching this video, we uh, we made it successfully, okay? So yes, if you're watching this, then we made that thing, and this is going to kind of be like a how-to video on how to build Braden Price's new four-wheeler. So, all of you out there that want to know how to do this, here you go. Alright, so now what we need to start with is the dealership. We're going to go ahead and click on dealership. You need to go to quads. Now, this is going to be very controversial because... Every time I've done one of these videos, people, you know, they'll, they'll tell me, like, hey, that's not a Honda, you know, here's a Honda, you guys, I know, I know it's not a Honda, I know we don't have a Honda in the game, but we just got to try to work with what we got, you guys, you guys feel me, you guys understand, you know, so that, that's kind of what we're gonna do, we're just gonna try to work with what we have, I understand that, you know, we don't necessarily have a Honda in game, well, not, not like his anyway, so, you know, j just bear with me here, now this, this looks a lot like a Polaris, you know, it does, it, it, but, also, it does somewhat have a front rack and a back rack, and so does Braden's. But now, of course, Braden's rack don't stick up like this one. Um, and he, I don't know if he has the guard on the front. I'll have to get a better look at that. But anyway, um, then you got this one. So right here, you guys, I I'm going to let you choose. You decide which four-wheeler you're going to build. There's not really a right or wrong one to choose because his isn't really in the game anyway. But we're going to make it look, you know, just like his for the most part. So I think we're going to go with this one, guys. Because it's got the front and back rack and has a headlight. This one don't have a headlight. So kind of choose, like I said, whichever one you want. And just follow along with this build. So right now, everybody, let's go ahead and buy this. 20000 Those of you that are building this along with me right now, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Subscribing is totally free. And it helps me out a ton. All right, you guys, here we go. So, first of all, Braden has that very unique color to his full. It's kind of like almost a bronze color, but not really a bronze. I, I don't know. It, it looks really good. I'm sure some of you out there will know the color of the full. Be sure to drop it down in the comments for the people that are curious. Me being one of them, too. All right, so let's go ahead and go to um, customize. Now, we're going to start with customize here. He doesn't have a lot done to the full, although he did just put some 30-inch wheels on it. So, we're going to base the four-wheeler today off of that so we're gonna go ahead and start with the paint here it's first in the lineup i'm gonna do the glossy paint i think i'm gonna go ahead and buy it i don't know if i'm gonna use it yet but we are gonna go ahead and purchase that now i'm looking at his four-wheeler and it doesn't really look like it's a shiny color so i don't know but the thing is yeah i don't you know what i think i'm gonna use the glossy his doesn't really have that glossy look to it but i think i am gonna use it you guys I think I am. Let's see if we can get his color here. The only thing is, I think if we were to use that blue fuller, we would be able to get the color a little bit better. So let's go ahead and apply these mods right quick. I want to check something. Okay, so here we are. We have the blue fuller now. I kind of want to check something out. See, I mean, I feel like the other fuller would have been better as far as, you know, the racks and the headlight. But I think getting the color right, this is going to be the better fuller here, to be honest, you guys kind of what i'm thinking because see how we can now see all of like the body color and everything we couldn't see that on the other folder now i'm gonna get that really red and then darken it in i think that may give us what we're looking for not really we're gonna have to back down on that top color so we're gonna come about let's see you guys what do you think what do you think we're gonna see how close we can get to his color here now mine is glossy his is more of a matte type kind of color so i'm already you know doing it a little bit different just because the matte is very far from the way it looks. You might could do metallic. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, that's metallic there. Glossy and matte. No, you guys, you guys, use your best judgment on this. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do it, but uh, I'm gonna go with this color right here. So this is the color I want. I'm choosing this one. Um, I think it will look very good for this build. So we're gonna go ahead and get out of there, and we're gonna go to. Let's see. We we were in paint. We're going to go to body. Now, as far as the body, we can add a few things here. He doesn't have a snorkel on the four-wheeler, so we don't have to worry about none of that. Go ahead and change the lights up there. Snorkel, don't have to do that. Um, I think we're pretty good, so let's go ahead and get out of there. Now, we're going to go to the rims. The rims on the four-wheeler are like that stock Honda rim look. Okay, so we just went with the metallic. I like the way the metallic looks on these rims, so we're just going to go with those. Now, I know another thing you guys are going to say is that he actually had the Can-Am wheels, and I know that, but um, we're just going to kind of make our wheels 
look sort of like this okay so we're just going to do this um for now because we don't really have a look alike for the can-am wheels in here so we're just going to use these let's see yeah so we're just going to do that and now we need to change our tires so if we go ahead and go to mud tires there we go we're going to go with those those are going to be our best replica of this whole build here now we got that so we we are good there so now i think we need to of course make the wheels bigger we'll have to do that but we need to go into decals because here is where all the fun starts now, if we could go into, let's see, we're going to start with a stripe, I think. We're going to go ahead and, no, no, we're not going to be able to start with the stripe. We're going to have to go with, let's see here. I think we're going to start with this. We're, we're going to use the text. So let's do this. Now, we're not going to be able to get it all, but we're going to do the best we can right here. So let's kind of do this. I don't even know if we're going to be able to spell Rubicon on this, but we'll see. Let's see here. All right, there we go. So we got that on. That should be on both sides now. So now we're just going to come back to the top here. We're going to just put a random letter. Let's see. We're going to use an I again. That'll be fine. Now, this is going to actually be used to, let's see. I'm going to come back, and now we're going to use a shape. Let's see for that top part. Um, this shape right here should work pretty good, I think. Yeah, because we need like a rounded look. So it's kind of right here. All right. Now we have that little stripe, just like his fuller. Now, if we do that, um, we actually need to, we need to add Rubicon. Maybe we can add just what's there. So maybe we'll do it like this. Edit text. Do this. I'm going to go ahead and spell out Rubicon, but I doubt all of it's going to be able to fit. I mean, of course, it's not going to be able to, but um, we're still going to do what we can. So let's kind of do this like this. All right. So I just went ahead and put Rubicon really small there. Now, I know it's a lot bigger on his folder. It looks a little different, but we just had to do that. You know, I wanted to put Rubicon on it, so that's what we got right there. Now, we're going to use another Let's see, we're going to use another letter I, unless we can find a correct shape. So let's go ahead and go to shapes right here, and let's find the correct shape I feel like is going to work for what we're needing here. So I'm thinking this shape right here ought to do pretty good. Let's see, and let's make it, it's going to have to be like that gray color kind of. All right, so as you can see, we got that little uh, little decal there, so let's kind of make that a little bit brighter. Let's see, maybe about right there. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate that. Let's see. Yes, we're going to buy another layer. So let's go back to that and let's duplicate. And I want to make it, you know, I want to add that little stripe that we got in the front there. So let's kind of do this just like that. Okay, I think that will work. Now we're going to duplicate and then make that the color of the full wheeler and do that about right there. So there you go. We got that. Now we need to add this to the back of the full wheeler also. So now let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to just duplicate the one up front. Let's see. That one's good. We're going to duplicate this one. And we're going to bring it backwards here, just like this. Remember to have everything mirrored, so you only have to do it once. It makes things a lot easier. Now we're going to use that to make that little stripe he's got on his. Okay, so right now we're just getting this warning label on here. So we got that. Let's see. That needs to come to about right. Let's see. Maybe right there. And then duplicate that. Put one on top of it. All right, that's going to give us that sort of separation there for our, you know, little warning labels. Now we're going to get another. Actually, you know what? L let's be smart about this. Let's just duplicate the one we already have, and we're just going to make it orange. So we're just going to make that orange, a bright orange, because we got our warning labels. All right, so we have our warning labels there. Now I think there's another warning label on this other side. So maybe we could use, let's see, let, we're going to try to use the square here. We don't want it mirrored anymore, so we're going to go ahead and take that away. All right, and there we have it. We have the warning labels, but you know what? We want it to look legit, right? So let's go ahead and type something out. Watch this. It's just going to be a random set of letters. doesn't have to really mean any labeling or anything. So we're just going to type Honda over and over and over. Okay, so we can type just like that. Honda twice is what we have. So now we're going to make this black. So let's go ahead and make that black. Make it really small. And watch this, you guys. So this is actually going to go on our warning label. To make it look like writing, you know? Now we're going to duplicate that. Now it just makes it look like there's writing there, which is uh, which is what we want. Makes it look that more realistic. Honda, Honda is really all it says. But anyway, there we go. There we go. Look how much more realistic that looks. So we have that. Now we have our wheels, but we got to make them bigger. We got to get a lift on the full. Now I know you guys, this one doesn't have racks. And it doesn't have a headlight. So you may want to use the other fuller. That's why I was kind of giving you guys, or, you know, just kind of letting you know that that was an option in the beginning. Now we have all this done. So let's go ahead and get out of here for a second. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We're going to go ahead and apply these mods. Now we have all that. So we're going to go to tuning. We want to make the fuller 
taller, right? So let's go ahead and go to travel. Go ahead and raise the fuller up a good bit. Let's go ahead and bring it up to about, I'd say about right there. Let's let's go ahead and do that. That looks pretty good. The back, the travel. What does the travel in the back look like? Let's see, maybe about right there. All right, and there you have it, you guys. We have Braden Price's Honda Rubicon in game. Now, only if we had the front and back racks on this fuller and the headlight, it would be honestly perfect if only we had a rubicon what if you guys what, what if we had a rubicon in the game that would be insane look at everything though the decals turned out amazing the fuller looks so good now i do kind of want to adjust the paint real quick so what if what if we kind of make it just a tad bit lighter tad bit lighter i think it's gonna fit the fuller perfectly okay so there we have it we made the fuller just a little bit lighter so those of you that stuck around to now We'll know that we, we made that little correction there and it turned out great so this is what this fuller looks like now this is the other fuller look we, we didn't really have all of like that body you know to where we could color it and that's really what i wanted so here we have that now we do get to miss out on the rubicon labeling yes i know now we do it does actually say rubicon it just looks a little different than he is but anyway guys i guess we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video i just wanted to show you guys how to build the braden price fuller in off-road outlaws now if you guys did enjoy this be sure to like comment and subscribe don't worry though we will be back next video trying this thing out we are going to be driving braden price's new honda rubicon for the first time in the next video so you guys be sure to stick around for that but anyway you guys i guess i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye guys